A man built a hidden Mines of Moria door that led into his basement. We all need a special private space from time to time, if only to escape from the pressures of day-to-day -day life. A tranquil corner of a leafy garden, a converted basement, an attic, or a garage can suffice and allow you to indulge in a little entertainment. One dad took things a step further, though, by creating an amazing secret door to his own special world. It can be a huge relief for all of us to get away from it all, and a well-built space dedicated to watching movies would be perfect for almost anyone. Indeed, few spaces can offer such a complete break from the mundane world. For one thing, a properly equipped home theater provides total immersion in the cinematic experience, and almost everyone has magical memories from their childhood of going to the movies. In February 2015, this inventor began to put his plan into motion. Not only did he convert his basement into a home theater, but he gave the space a stunning high-tech entrance. And fans of J.R.R. Tolkien will instantly recognize it. Calling himself Newler, the inventor illustrated exactly how he had gone about the project with a series of photos published on image sharing site Imgur. It's his only post on the site, but judging from his creation, the dad is clearly a talented craftsman. To build the door, Newler constructed a shallow box using plywood and old 2x4s he had laying around. He then acquired a strip of super bright LEDs and secured them to the back of the box. Finally, he installed a touch sensitive Arduino Uno board and an automatic door opener. Next, Newler turned his attention to the outside of the box. I bought a large plexiglass sheet and covered it in vinyl, he wrote. I drew the design on the back side and used a razor to cut it out. I just painted the back of it white to help reflect the light more inside the box. The design actually replicates the entrance to the Mines of Moria, a vast underground complex that features in fantasy writer J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings series. Moria is in fact more than a mine, it makes up an entire dwarven kingdom extending for hundreds of miles under the Misty Mountains with a labyrinth of tunnels, shafts and subterranean halls. According to Tolkien's complex mythology, the dwarven kingdom's history began before the sun and moon were created. Durin, according to Tolkien, was the first of the fathers of the dwarves, and he led his clan to a lake surrounded by mountains and waterfalls which he named Khaled Zaram. There, Tolkien wrote, like jewels sunk in the deep, shone glittering stars through sunlight was in the sky above. It was a cosmic sign if ever there was one. Durin covered the stars to a shivering crown and so established his underground kingdom above the east-facing caves of Khaled Zaram. Moria endured several ages before the Fellowship encountered it. In fact, Frodo and his band approached the Dwarf Kingdom from the West Gate, which was invisible from the outside. However, under certain conditions, the door would become visible when a secret password was uttered. The door and its delicate silvery design could, though, only be seen under starlight and moonlight. Constructed by an elf called Salimbrador, it featured a variety of patterns. The crown and stars signify Durin, while the trees with crescent moons stand for the elves, and the single star represents Salimbramor's House of Faron. Inscribed above the archway were lines of elvish text. The words read, Anandurin Anamoria, Pedomelin Amino. This translates to, The Doors of Durin, Lord of Moria, Speak Friend and Enter. This inscription in fact contained the very key for opening the door. The password was Melon, the elvish word for friend. The design of the door is famous among fans of the fantasy genre because it was the only internal illusion to be published in The Lord of Rings during Tolkien's lifetime. And while many know of it, few have adapted it as creatively as Nuller. With his replica Westgate now successfully installed, he got his young son to test it. Naturally, his boy was wowed. Standing before what appeared to be an exceptional gray door, he pressed his hand to it, thereby activating the touch-sensitive Uno board and the strip of hidden LEDs. The door instantly lit up, and then it dramatically swung open. However, there was one issue that still needed to be ironed out. Though clearly impressed, the boy was expecting something more. Okay, said the boy to his father, why did we not say melon? A good question. What about the elvish password? Because daddy still got to work on that part, replied the dad. He later explained in his Imgur post, right now the door opens automatically after a touch of the hand. Soon I will integrate voice recognition, so you will first have to touch it in order to illuminate it and then speak the elvish word for friend, melon, in order to gain access. 
I'm also going to cause the light just above this door to flicker and go on right before the door illuminates to have a much bigger BAM effect. One video of Newler's YouTube channel shows a circuit board clearly responding to the word melon with a green LED so it looks like the final stage of the project was a success. Indeed the complete effect must have been quite something. In any case with or without voice recognition the door is pretty awesome. What Newler has done somewhat theatrically is to create a threshold between the mundane world and the magical. Beyond it a realm of fantasy awaits and movie nights will surely be better than ever. Above all else the door appears to be relatively cheap and simple to construct. All you need are some building materials and basic electronic skills and if you want to build one yourself there's no reason that you have to copy this exact design unless you too are a major Tolkien fan. Ultimately Newler's clever invention will be perfect for adults or kids alike whether they're putting an imaginative disposition to work or just looking to personalize their home in a fun and creative way. Indeed we all need to escape sometimes. So why shouldn't our own special private spaces be as enchanting as possible?